Hey guys, it's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com back again with our Galaxy Note 2, the AT&T version, and we're going to take a look at a new ROM. So this is the Omni ROM for the AT&T Galaxy Note 2. This is a KitKat ROM and we're going to fire it up here so you can check out the boot animation and all of that. Big thanks to the gentleman that brought this to our device, a senior member over at XDA. I'm going to put his name on the screen because, frankly, I cannot pronounce it. <laughs> but, big thanks nonetheless. As always, I'll put a link down below where you can find this ROM over on XDA. So while you're over there, be sure to hit the thanks button. And let this gentleman know how much we appreciate his work. So this is KitKat 4.4.2. You get your two launchers here. We'll take a look at the first one here. That has the Google Now to the swipe left. Oh, it heard me say Google. No, not yet. Okay, Google. There we go. So this is just a solid ROM, guys. Not a ton of bells and whistles added into this, but it's got a bunch of stuff um, to play around with. A lot of this is customizable. Go into the settings menu here and you can see some of the things that you can customize. I like that this just says bars. Just just bars, you know. Any bars that you could think of, you can customize them in that section. <laughs> Status bar, notification bar, uh, then you got the notification drawer, you've got menus also, and active display, then there's also a more section. But let's go on down to the about phone. So full on KitKat and it has all the goodies that we would expect in a KitKat ROM. Now when you install this ROM guys, uh, be sure to check in the thread, read through the thread because there are some instructions that you need to pay attention to. Uh, you have to install the ROM, install the Google apps, then you also, ah, I didn't say Google for you. Uh, install the G apps. I should say, so it doesn't trigger it again. <laughs> uh, you also have to install the super user, and then you have to update a few things, including the Super SU app. But it has instructions in the thread on how to do all those things. He also provides you with download links for Team Win Recovery Project, the ROM, the G apps, super user, as well as Photosphere. So they definitely have, oh, and multi-window as well, sorry. They definitely have provided you with everything you're going to need to get this up and running. Didn't have any trouble connecting to uh, data. I know there's several ROMs out right now where you have to put in the APNs for AT&T, and it's kind of a pain. If you're looking for those APNs, just do a Google search for AT&T APN. But this one fired up, had full LTE right out of the gate, didn't have to do anything, so that's pretty awesome. We'll take a look at the other one here, which does not have the uh, Google Now uh, when you swipe over. But I've used this with uh, GPS, I've used, I've made a couple phone calls, test calls, uh, speakerphone, everything works good, sound works great, um, GPS connected very, very quickly, Google Maps worked flawlessly, battery life seems to be working, it's updating in the background something, so it updates. <laughs> Uh, but just a solid ROM guys, solid KitKat ROM. If you're looking for something that's going to work great for a daily driver, this is definitely one to get. Uh, I think those are all my Google apps that are updating. Alright, there we go. I put a stop to that. I'll have none of those shenanigans while I'm trying to do a review. But there you go guys, that was this quick quick review, overview really, of the Omni ROM for the AT&T Galaxy Note 2. Definitely check it out. Once again, link will be down below. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to stop by our site, mobiletechvideos.com. Tons and tons and tons of stuff to help you out. But thanks for watching. This is Sam. I'll see you next time.